All right, today we're doing the first section of spiral review in your geometry book. This is the one that was bound and that you picked up from school. So you had a little stapled packet and a book. This is that book and we'll use it throughout the whole year. Um, so we're starting with unit A, which should be the very first page after the cover page in your book. And we're reviewing algebra topic, topics. So it says geometry distributive review. These are all topics you should have seen in algebra last year. Um, so the midpoint of two endpoints. So midpoint is just kind of like it sounds, the middle. So if I have these two points, I have to find the middle of 5 and negative 6. So to do that, I can add them together and divide by 2. And then same, I have to find the middle of negative 10 and negative 3. So add them together, divide by 2. So this would give us negative 1 over 2 is negative 5 tenths. And then negative 13 over 2 is negative 6 and 5 tenths. Okay? Same thing here. You can add them together. This would be negative 12 over 2 is negative 6. This would be 4 over 2 is 2. Okay, it's just the middle point. Um, distance between two points. We have a distance formula, and this comes from Pythagorean theorem. But we will take our x's and subtract, square that, and add it to our y's that we subtract and square. Okay? I um, mean, this comes from Pythagorean theorem. So if you like that better, you can use that also. And I think we've been doing this in our geometry notes already as well. So distance between these points. You're subtracting your x's, subtracting your y's. And it doesn't matter which point you start with as long as you start with the same one. So if I start with negative 1, I also have to start with 2. Or I could have flip-flopped them and started with 0 and 4. So here we would have negative 1 squared is 1, negative 2 squared is 4. So we have root 5 Root 5 is approximately 2.2 .2 if we round to the nearest tenth. Um, so same thing here. You're going to have 5 minus negative 6 squared. Negative 1 minus negative 3 squared. So this would give us 11 squared is 121. This would give us 2 squared is 4, so root 125 is 5 root 5 as a simplified radical or as a decimal if we had to round it, 11.2. Solve the equation. So we did a lot of these in our warm-up last week. But well, you would want to distribute first. So that would give us 5r minus 20. Then we want to combine like terms. So negative 4 and negative 20 is negative 24. And then we want to get our R's on the same side. You can choose which one you want to move, but I always like to move the smaller one. It keeps things nice and positive. So I'm going to subtract 5R, which will give us 2R. And now it's a two-step, so we would add 40 to both sides. Divide by 2, divide by 2, 8 equals R would be your final answer. 
Okay, number two over here, same kind of thing. We'll distribute first. That'll give us positive 24 plus 40R. You want to make sure you're not making sign errors. Then we'll combine like terms. 24 and 5 is 29. All right, then we are going to get our R's together. So I'm gonna to choose to subtract seven R from both sides. So that'll give us 33 R. So then we'll subtract 29 from both sides, which will give us negative 66. And divide by 33 should give us negative two. All right, next page. Still solving equations. So here we can combine like terms. Negative 4p plus 1 third p. If you treat them all as thirds, this is negative 12 thirds plus 1 third is negative 11 thirds. And then to get rid of this, you multiply by the reciprocal. Now these are going to cross simplify to be negative 1. All right, number two, we're gonna distribute. So that would give us 11x minus four. So then if you add four, that's the same as adding 12 thirds if you need a common denominator. So 12 more would be 275 thirds. Let's see, does that simplify? Nope, 275 thirds, and then you can multiply by 1 11th if we wanna stick with fractions here. So 275 over 33 simplifies to be 25 thirds. So 275, you could cross simplify here it looks like. All right, solve for y. So this is literal equation review. We just covered this in algebra this week, actually. So you're solving for y. So we have to move 8x to the other side. Since it's positive, we'll subtract. So negative 8x plus 2. Or you could have 2 minus 8x. That would be the same thing. And then to get rid of this negative, you're going to change every single sign. So now 8x is positive. 2 is negative. Or you could have your negative 2 plus 8x. All right, here we're solving for y again. So we'll start by subtracting 8x, just like on the last one. And then divide everything by negative 5, all three pieces. So this will be y equals positive 8 fifths x, because two negatives make a positive, plus 3. Again, two negatives make a positive. <clears throat> All right. This one, we're solving the equation, so we distribute first. Negative 4 minus 28n equals negative 48, or not 48, 32 in minus 48. All right, so then I like to move the smaller one. Negative 32 is smaller than negative 28. Keeps things nice and positive. So you have negative four plus four in now. Then I'll add four to both sides.
and divide by 4. So n equals negative 11. And then another literal, solve for y. So we would start by subtracting 7x from both sides. And then dividing everything by negative 8. So you'll have positive 7 eighths plus 3. All right, so that's the end of our review um, for today. We're just doing topic A. Your um, homework pages are in the back half of the same book. So um, unit A, homework pages. In the past, they've been yellow in the second half. I don't remember if they were yellow and we stuffed your bags this year or not. But about halfway through, you'll see... Um, geometry homework practice at the top and you're doing unit A which is two pages okay so these two all right um, when you're finished you can grade with the key and upload a photo just like we do with your packet